Welcome to Grimm's Garage. Another episode of Packaging Purge. This episode, pickup trucks. Simply because I was trying to sort some of my collection, I was specifically sorting my pickup trucks, knowing I had more to add to those piles, and I was a little upset that they weren't open, so we're going to open them. Uh, mostly Hot Wheels, with some Matchbox, so it's all Mattel. We got four Matchbox, one Hot Wheel Premium, and five other Hot Wheel main lines. Uh, some from some special sets, and I think we're going to start with these here, because they're all the same. Ironically, I'm not a huge Dodge fan, but I'm a pickup fan, and this is a pretty cool truck. Uh, 1970 Dodge Power Wagon. Looks like we got uh, 2 of 10 and 2 of 10. Is this, are these two different years? What is this? They both say 2020. Is one a treasure? No. Just color, color variant. Okay. These are supposed to be the same vehicle, supposedly. Hmm. We have one out of a Mopar set. What we got here? I'm not a big Mopar fan at all. But I absolutely gotta have that custom van. I won't seek it out, but if I come across it, I'll take the Challenger. And I have no clue what a Dixie Challenger is. Visually, I'm gonna say I'm not a fan. But factually, if anybody has info on that, can you uh, fill me in, please? Comments below. I, I have no clue what that is. Is that like um, a Shelby custom Ford to Dodge? I don't know. Anyway, let's get these guys open. We'll start with the Mopar. Set. I am loving them. Yellow and orange on black. Now, personally, I'm not a yellow and orange fan. Black, yeah. But I'm a huge 70s and 80s motive. And I am really digging the motif here. Nice metal base, metal top. Really cool. Next. Right, the orange out of the two. Finish with the yellow. And if anybody can tell me what's up with these, why does this look like? Okay, I'm used to variants, but usually they come out separately. This says same year, same number, everywhere. 3 of 250, 2 of 10, same year on the back. Everything is exactly the same, but the car itself. Please, tell me. Anyway. Gotta say, I'm not a big fan of this. I could be cool with orange, but I hate the brown tires, obviously. And the full, like, chrome blue rims on the brown? That looks horrendous. Yeah.
yucky. We'll hide him behind the other one. But that's my opinion. Each their own. Cut open the last one here. Yellow one. Same horrible brown tires. But at least this one's got black rims on it. It doesn't look as nasty. But otherwise... Again, I wouldn't choose those colors modernly, but I'm a huge fan of those colors nostalgically. That looks really sick. We'll put them in my favorite order if the table agrees. Maybe not. Good enough. All right. Why don't we get some matchbox out of the way? Hey. All right. And uh, this one I was debating to throw in here because it's not exactly a pickup truck, but it is. It, it's a modified pickup truck. The Matchbox Garbage Scout, which I love, especially since the removable dumpster. I love my accessories. This one being from 2020, I believe. Yeah, this was just before my collection, so I'm happy to add this one to my collection. I do have two others of this that were more currently released. Matchbox Services. I don't think I have ever anything in this uh, motif. Well, that was a really nice addition to my collection. The base is slightly fitted like a Lego to accept the uh, dumpster. Pretty cool. Ooh, almost lost it. 2019. 51 Willys Jeep Pickup 4x4. Pretty cool artwork on that. It'll look good in a box, in a closet. Sorry, I'm not a packaging presenter. I just want the toys. I will save my packaging, but it's put away. Nice front tempo on that. That does a world of wonder on a otherwise simple model. But simple by accuracy, honestly. Pretty cute. This is my first one of this. First cheap truck whatsoever. I'm still on the hunt for um, a recent release of the Matchbox Moving Parts. They got some kind of green pickup Jeep with a dumping bed. I really want to get my hands on that. But otherwise, this is my first Jeep truck. Alright. Fifty seven GMC Stepside. Now, I've mentioned this before, this model is too old for my collo collecting interest. I don't like the rounder bodies. Uh, but um, I've been really liking some of the things on this model. And it's a GMC. I love my Chevys and GMCs. So I've been finding myself grabbing all of these. It snuck its way into my heart. So... 
we're going to add this one. What is the motif on this? I never even bothered to really look. I can't even read that to be honest with you. East to West Coast? Co East to West Coaster? Vintage something coaster. Hmm. Not sure. But very happy I have another one. I think I have at least five or six of these already. I really like when they show the uh, the exact scale on the models. It's pretty nice. And the last matchbox for the day, we got a 9 to 5 Nissan hard body D21. This one specifically from 2019 on the card. So before my collecting time, I do have the most current one, the blue one with the silver, and the white with blue, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, 95 would usually be a little too early, or too new for me to collect, but it was old enough, and I'm really loving the decal, even though it is some weird just paint splotch. There's a lot of nostalgic feel with that. That's really that blue one. I was really loving that, so now I gotta grab all these. I love red and silver, so this is pretty cool. Although I still think the blue one is my favorite of all time. So far. But yeah, really nice rims on this one. I like those rims. Really love when they have uh, fake accessories molded into the bed. This one's got a hitch, huge fan of that. Love to accessorize. Beautiful little model. What are we going to do next? Let's Land Rover Series 3 pickup. We have two other ones of these so far. This one being from 2017. Baja Blazers. A lot of racing style decals on here. Spare tire molded into the bed, liking that. Rims are alright. Not bad. I mean, not too frilly. But nothing nasty or horrible either. Just not too bad. Second to last. Our last Hot Wheel mainline will end with a premium. Backwoods Bomb. This is a first to me. Never seen this before, but it's extremely intriguing to me. I like pickups. I love RVs. Anything accessorized, so of course I would love this. Uh, obviously, it's apparently a fantasy model. I'm really liking the... Fa oh. 1974 date on the oh so there's other versions of this and this is my first experience with this model see now I want I want to find more now I'm intrigued but anyway yes I love I love accessorized items I love trucks I love RVs and campers this is great and um I like the fact that, although this is a fantasy model, to me, I would think 
it looks like it's made out of a utility vehicle like a um a tow truck or like a cable truck electric truck you see the way the the side panels are larger and sticking out it looks like a commercial utility vehicle that was modified into an rv camper anyway i really like this look. what's going on with the rest of the hot wheel trip and road trip all right so yeah i got my favorite for this side uh, I'm not going to sweat over trying to seek them out, but if I came across them, I'd absolutely buy both the Custom Galaxy and the Charger. The other three, I'm sorry, I have zero interest in. So happy to have my favorite one at least. I just got this. Okay, I'm going to have to look this up on the fandom at the video. I want to see what the rest of these look like now. I try not to look too ahead, but uh, really intrigued on this. Turquoise Trail, Road 14. Oh, it comes off. Awesome. I like that a lot. But I'm not really understanding that. Maybe maybe this model is used for something else and things were snapped on top. But you, you see what I'm talking about, right? This looks like a utility vehicle, like a electrician or something. Or a uh, tow truck. Missing some equipment. It looks almost like a fifth wheel setup. But yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Backwoods Bomb. So that is the name of it on the bottom. Backwoods Bomb. Hmm. So I wonder how else they've accessor. I really gotta look this up. I'm excited. I really like this model. Regardless, that is a fantasy. Last but not least, 60s Ford Econoline pickup. Real Riders Car Culture from 2017. And looking at those, I'd have to say I absolutely need them all. Especially the uh, Custom 62 Chevy. I think that'd be the number one I gotta get, but I really, I want them all. I want them all. Right. Metal on metal, real riders. Red line rubber tires, really thin ones. Really nice detail on that. I'm liking the flat red skateboard on the bed. Nice custom detail paint on the front. Everywhere, actually. Nice uh, custom pinstriping. Black interior. They did use two separate pieces of plastic. Really beautiful. And the tempoed license plate and pinstriping around the rear taillights. Gorgeous. Thank you all for joining me today. Honestly, I just want to get my toy trucks open. So I hope you all have a very good night. Please like and subscribe. It helps tremendously. And please join me again soon.